failures similar to this spring break end cover separation have occurred hundreds of times in Canada in the past two years. To demonstrate the energy contained by the assembly, we will remove the Wagner design cover and simulate a failure by overpressurizing the spring brake. Failures of the spring brake cover have occurred on the road, at loading facilities, and in fleet maintenance shops. Two brake manufacturers' products have been identified as experiencing internal corrosion of the spring brake cover. This is the Wagner brake. It can be identified by the Wagner name on the end cover. The contour of the cover is cylindrical in shape. This is an air-equipped Maxi 2 model, the second product experiencing an internal corrosion problem. It has the air-equipped name on the end cover. It also has the cast fins on its exterior. The cover also has locking ears on its sides which wrap around the clamp band bolts. This is the protective cage Wagner recommends be fabricated to permit safe servicing of their spring brake. We fabricated this cage from the Wagner drawing in their bulletin KU1111. We added the straps to prevent the cage from falling off the brake assembly during removal and handling operations. The Wagner cage, if properly fabricated, slips easily onto and off of the Wagner and the Aeroquip Maxi 2 brake. Use of the cage will prevent injury or property damage should a cover separation occur. It is recommended that the Wagner cage be fabricated by all service facilities and used when doing any type of brake servicing on a truck or trailer, regardless of year, equipped with a Wagner or Aeroquip Maxi 2 brake. This is the disablement chamber that we had designed and fabricated for safe disposal of these brake chambers. The disablement chamber can be rolled out beside the vehicle that is being serviced. The removed brake chamber can then be deposited within the barrel-shaped container. The spring brake assembly just inserted into the disablement chamber was a Wagner unit. Using an oxyacetylene torch, it is very easy to simply cut the clamp band bolts on the top surface, rotate the cage, and then cut the lower clamp band bolt.
When this operation is being performed, the brake assembly may blow up at any time, so caution must be used. However, because of the corrosion in the clamp band area, it has been our experience that the cover will not always readily separate. We found it necessary on many units to use a long rod and a hammer to displace the clamp bands that remained intact. The explosion, which has just occurred, leaves a pile of harmless pieces completely contained in the disablement chamber. These can now be safely handled and scrapped. This unit about to be disabled is the AeroClip Maxi 2 model. As before, mounted in the disablement chamber so that the clamp band bolts are up and down. To disable the AeroClip Maxi 2 chamber takes slightly longer as it is first necessary to melt the aluminum safety tabs and then to cut the clamp band bolt on each side. In spite of this additional operation, disablement can be done within two minutes. Until the cover has separated, the unit must be considered armed and dangerous. Again, it was necessary on this model to hit the clamp bands with a hammer and a rod. This unit would not open up as the internal spring had failed. Once the cover has opened up, the components are known to be safe, the disablement chamber can be opened and the parts removed. The Wagner and AeroClip Maxi 2 assemblies must be approached with caution, removed with care and safely disabled. Use of the Wagner protective cage and the disablement chamber will permit these operations to be safely undertaken.